welcome to this video playing cow from the US. Who is that? I like irregular setups. Okay, let's see what he's, how irregular he's going to play it. That looks fairly regular. <laughs> Just the Italian game. Okay, do I get in knight c4? Yeah, he gives me the bishops. That's nice. And maybe he can go bishop e6. Yeah? That's not a not a problem then. Yeah, okay. I see. Huh. Nah. Okay, let's let's install that pin and ask him about it. Yeah, that pin is always a bit annoying and. Um, it's not so easy to get rid of it. So let's see. I wonder. I wonder. Let's let's castle. Knight e3 is something that I might go for. If he takes it on e3, the f file will open to my advantage. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Interesting idea. Hmm. Didn't think about that move. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Let's keep pieces on the board. I, I want this d4 move. Okay. He allows that. Let's do it. So yeah, I wonder. Yeah, but this this that, that that is almost always useful. Well, okay, he cannot go d5. That's not not happening. Hmm. Let's get out of the d file anyway and prevent g5 in the process altogether. There, okay. Maybe he wants to go queen to e6 in order to in order to uh, unpin, that's possible. Let's let's prevent it for the moment. Hmm. Yeah, I can go d5, not not sure. But I haven't have a different idea. If the bishops are traded, I might be able to use the light squares with knight c4. Hmm. Or, or just now. I oh, know he can. No, he cannot. Sorry, I was thinking he can take here and pl and play something to c5. But my f2 pawn is protected by the bishop, so that's no big deal. Knight e3. Hmm. He might have g5. It it is very materialistic, but maybe he has that. Yeah, of course, in a split second. So if I take e6, queen takes, can I go knight f5 maybe? Yeah, I actually can. <laughs> I 
not even considering to check on e4. Maybe maybe it was just bad, of course. But I, I have an I I think I I know what his idea is in this game. He wants to win on time. <laughs> That's the real idea. Which is very plausible given that uh, I spent so much. So he's currently tied a bit to some weaknesses and I'm attacking a7, which I might just take. takes with the e pawn I go okay he does he plays the other move here I can just trade stuff or try to trade stuff um, an end game knight against bishop would be here would be nice here with his pawn weaknesses Bishop looks good on b6, but it's not so clear what it is really doing. If I just get um, some things traded, that will be very nice for me. I actually expect something like king h7 that tr that he tries to do something on the on the g file. Check. Queen h5, knight f3, that is the idea. <laughs> Queen g3 is a funny move. <laughs> okay, so... Probably... <clears throat> I have to be flexible here and adjust to something else. Knight d2 and the king king over to e2 and go from there. Mm, yeah, knight knight here is not bad. If I go here. Time warning. He maybe has f3. That could be an annoying move. No, it's not doing that. Okay, then let's just regroup them to f3. Yeah, it's a flashy move, but it doesn't do anything. So not easily entering though. Queen A4 is not really netting me that much. It's probably not even that great. Mm. Yeah, this is with tempo though. Mm. Knight to b3 can could be good. That's a good move. Cannot go to b3 now, unfortunately. Mm. 
Na, a blundering pawn. Mm, stupid. Very stupid. Draw. I can offer him a draw here. Oh, he doesn't want a draw. Okay, then I win Black on time. Forfeits on time. Cannot do more than offer it. Yeah, okay, before I blundered the pawn, I'm, I'm just much better, of course. Probably winning. Probably winning. And especially earlier, around here, with some precise play, I think white should win this pretty convincingly. I'm not completely sure how. The engine gives this as the way to do it. Well, it's probably right. Queen c7 to cover that and then knight g5. Yeah, there has to be something like that. His structure is simply too bad. There were a couple of um, surprising decisions around here. I think this is probably an equalish position. He played here, went here, and then he just played this. And now pawn takes and knight h5. I thought he would take it, actually. And I wasn't sure what happens here. I mean, it will always be a bit of compensation because he has totally killed... Oops, didn't want to make that error. He totally killed his structure. I mean, something like this, for example, cannot be terribly bad for me. Let's say he takes, I take, and I have this square and, and, and some light squared play. The computer says equal. Interesting. Yeah, maybe I'm getting a pawn back somewhere. Those pawns are not particularly strong. But he went here. Queen here. Yeah. The computer wants to do this. Yeah, that, 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 that looks pretty good, actually. I don't have a good square. I have to retreat. Check. Yeah, that's good. Means, oops, that was a bit much. Didn't want to. Wow. <laughs> Weird what the software is doing. So knight g4 wasn't a good good move. I have to have to retreat him. And this is about equal according to the engine. Yeah, he's got activity. Yeah? He has weakened uh, himself a bit, but he's quite active. Yet the way the way it went, it sort of oops, he could have taken g3. What kind of thing is that? Oops, oops, oh, what a bad game. <laughs> wow, you can just take g3. Yeah, there's a pin. Wow, okay, I'm still irritated by that <laughs> data loss, I guess. I already know what. Okay, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that game, even though it wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't particularly good. <laughs> Thanks for watching.